the most simple mass testing device would be a chamber which is enclosed and there is one mask attached to one end of a pipe and there's a fan attached to another end of a pipe the fan blows out air sucking in air through the mask the pipe is connected to a flow sensor that measures the air flow across the mask there is a pm 2.5 level sensor before the mask and one placed after the mask so this calculates the particulate filtration efficiency of the mask a differential pressure sensor measures the pressure drop across the mask a nebulizer injects pm 2.5 particles into the air flow so as to be detected by pm 2.5 sensors before and after the mask the particulate filtration efficacy directly correlates to the ability of the mask to block out particles on which viruses and bacteria can ride on these are 0.3 microns till up to 10 microns the pressure drop number of a mask indicates how easy or difficult it is to breathe through the mask so let me explain to you what this um, system is these are a set of fans which draw the air in the upward direction so they are drawing it from beneath this whole system beneath this cover is a venturi and two masks are connected through that venturi to these fans so whenever the fans are running the air is being sucked from either of these masks now there is this knob which allows for the masks to be to be shifted so either this way or this way so we can select this mask or this mask which is connected to the remaining of the fan this is a nebulizer and uh, it creates the pm 2.5 particles that are used for sensing whether the mask is working efficiently or not this is a pm 2.5 crons sensor uh, which senses the pm 2.5 before the masks and there is inside in the chain there is another 2.5 micron sensor which detects the 2.5 microns after it has passed through the mask you can see that the fan is connected to this via airflow sensor and these two masks are connected via this conduit to the airflow sensor to this chamber that is the electronics that is custom built there are some relays to control the uh, nebulizer and the fans and there's a power supply a mass selection system has been implemented here this allows us to select which of the two masks is being tested. When one mask is selected, all air passes through it and no air passes through the other mask. This system allows the masks to be compared to each other while other parameters are held relatively constant. Absolute measurements require much more precise and sophisticated equipments. Such devices would be beyond the reach of common people and healthcare organizations working in low resource settings. Therefore, it makes sense to compare between a face mask whose quality and performance is well known, such as a branded product, to an unknown mask sample and then make appropriate judgments. One aspect of this system is to have a closed enclosure. The enclosure helps to achieve and maintain a consistent air quality. This quality is necessary for testing different masks at different conditions. The limited enclosure volume also allows for varying the PM 2.5 levels quickly as per requirement.
when we switch on the machine via the rotating knob control the fan and the nebulizer starts you can see the nebulizer emitting aerosols that contain salt particles that will eventually become pm 2.5 particles on the lcd screen on the bottom left you will see the flow rate the air flow rate through the masks which is in liters per minute standard liters per minute in the middle bottom middle you will see the pressure drop across the mask in pascals you will see the the difference in the pm 2.5 levels before and after the mask when we select the masks for example right now it has been selected to the surgical mask we see that the pressure drop across the mask is quite low it's around 3 to 4 pascals and the air flow is also high it's around 15 to 16 liters per minute but when we shift back to n95 we see that the pressure drop is pretty high which is around 20 pascals and the flow rate has also decreased to 11 to 12 standard liters per minute this behavior is repeated again and again and it only shows that the n95 is much difficult to breathe from the pm levels have yet to be compared the device was intended to serve the healthcare community as well as common people hence the focus was on keeping the costs reasonable without compromising too much on the scientific performance criteria here is the basic costing of such a device most components can be sourced via online dealers especially for the electronics the body and machining aspects can be dealt with laser cutting and manual or cnc bending operations the design will soon be open sourced this prototype has some limitations which have to be explored further and improved upon